Ladies and gentlemen, it has never been so clear as the past year how fundamentally important resilient and accessible healthcare systems are. The digital transformation of health is quintessential on the path towards stronger, more effective and more equitable health systems. So, as we come to the end of a rewarding day of this conference, I want to thank the Portuguese Presidency for gathering us here. And I want to thank you all for your insight, for your commitment and for your vision. Now I would like to share some brief thoughts about our priorities as we move ahead. First of all, the European health data space. Digitalization has the potential to radically transform healthcare and healthcare systems and with it the lives of millions of patients, their families and healthcare workers. It can also make European industry in the health sector more competitive. And the main driver of this is health data. That is why the Commission has made the creation of a European health data space a priority. This data is already being held in various places. However, barriers still make it difficult to combine these small data sets into a larger pool and to make them accessible so researchers can more easily search for the next game-changing medicine. We are working closely with member states to design a framework to safely share data for use in primary health care provision, public health policy making, and research and innovation. Of course, our starting point must be the full respect for European rules and values. Patients must maintain control over their data. This is a fundamental right in our union which is non-negotiable. These principles will underpin the legislative proposal for the health data space we are preparing. Next, on telehealth. The pandemic has highlighted the importance of telehealth, especially when patients cannot easily get to the point of care. Digital technologies have great potential to facil facilitate better access to healthcare. This access should be a public good and a right for all citizens. This is also true in the cross-border context and I want to thank the Portuguese Presidency for your leadership in this area, for making it a cornerstone of the Presidency. It is one of the key areas that national and EU level actors should work on as part of the European health data space. Third, we need the right digital skills. We have seen a remarkable growth in telehealth services but this also exposes where we need to do more to make the most of these possibilities. Digital skills are a crucial component of this transition in areas such as providing remote consultations, sharing patient data with other providers, or remotely monitoring the well-being of older people or rural patients. We must continue promoting citizens' digital literacy and our professionals must be equipped with the right skills to assure that they can maximize the potential of digital technologies. We have to ensure that we shrink inequalities so everyone can benefit rather than increase a digital divide. Fourth, the digital infrastructure is crucial and later this year we plan to launch a pilot project to test the interoperable infrastructure for the European health data space. We can empower millions of citizens to digitally increase their access to healthcare and improve their well-being. My ambition is that by 2025, all citizens should be able to share their health data with healthcare providers of their choice when traveling abroad. Currently, patients from seven member states have this possibility, and Portugal is one of the front runners in this. We hope that eight more member states will join these exchanges this year. Ladies and gentlemen, resilient, accessible health systems are an investment in our citizens and in our future. It is money well spent. Investing in digitalization is investing in resilience for our health systems. Europe needs to take this bold step. And I am determined to support this effort in every way possible from the European level. Our ambitious EU for Health program will support investments in cross-border sharing of health data. 
Member states can use the EU's 672 billion recovery and resilience facility also to advance on digitalization in healthcare and other public services. And additional funding will be available from other European instruments. Together, we can make digitalized healthcare and the European health data space a reality. And if we do so, the European Union can emerge from this pandemic more unified, more resilient, and better prepared for future crises. Digitalized health systems will be more accessible, more effective, and more equitable. Portugal has been a leading voice in this movement. So I want to finish by once again thanking the Presidency for its commitment to advancing cooperation in the area of digital health. And I very much look forward to working closely with all member states to make these goals a reality. There have already been many exciting ideas during this conference, and no doubt there'll be more tomorrow. Let's make the discussions of today the real experience of patients and healthcare workers of tomorrow. Thank you.